How should zakat be paid on commercial goods? Should it be based on the price for which it was bought or the price for which they are to be sold? As far as a person who buys any article for his use, then but naturally whatever he buys, whatever the cost is, you have to take out the depreciation and pay zakat on that amount, depending on what it is. If it's land, it may appreciate, it may go down. If it's a machinery, then depreciation. But this question is mainly for goods for trade. That a person who buys some goods for selling, so should he pay at the price at which he bought it or at the price at which he's going to sell? Here again, the scholars differ. According to Sheikh Saleh Munajid, he says that if you buy certain goods for selling, if you're a wholesaler, then take zakat on the price of wholesale that are going to sell. If you're a retailer, then you take out zakat on the price at which you're going to sell on retail. And if you're doing both, then take a rough estimate and then take out zakat. But some of the scholars, they say that in retail, the profit margin is quite a lot, depending upon the good you're dealing with. If you're dealing with maybe buying and selling books, the profit margin in books is 40%, 50%, 60% also. So imagine if someone has large shop of books or a chain of bookstores, and if he purchases worth maybe $100,000 worth of books, when he sells, the selling price may be more than $200,000. So for him to pay zakat on the selling price would be too much. So I agree more with those scholars who say that whatever is the cost, once you buy it, since it's with you, you haven't made the profit yet. So the cost price for you for that book is the cost at which you bought it, at the discounted cost. So if you're getting 50% discount, so whatever you bought it, that you pay zakat. When you sell it, then you get the 50% profit. Or maybe many a time, the books aren't sold. So you have to keep a sale and then sell the book at 40% discount. Sometimes you have to sell it at a loss. You purchase 50% discount, but sell it at 60% discount. And especially you take out the books which are there lying with you for maybe five years or six years or eight years. So imagine you pay eight years zakat on the higher side, and then you sell it at a discounted rate. So I agree more with those group of scholars who say that you pay zakat on what you actually paid. And then if the cost price increases, for example, you buy a good of $100 or 100 rupees, and you get 50% discount. So your buying capacity is 50 rupees or $50. Suppose the price, the MRP, the maximum retail price, increases to 110 rupees or $110. Then you calculate 50% discount, 55 rupees. That time you can increase the price, but not at the selling price. You don't know whether you're going to sell at the full price or discounted price or whatever it is. Therefore, I agree more with what is the cost, what discount you get added to the present cost. And that's how you have to make out what is the total value of your goods after one year and then pay a cut to 2.5% on it.